Hey everybody, it's Mark and Ricka with Venture Out Vacations and uh, Ricka, your hair looks great. You just got, I got it cut. I got it all cut off. Yeah. <laughs> That's our big announcement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a haircut too, but I just had them trim it. I'm letting it grow. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, uh, just wanted to give you guys an update and thank you so much for everybody just uh, being out there and giving us all the support. We've had so many, so many people calling in and just saying hey we are thinking about you guys we're praying for you guys and and i, I really appreciate that because we not only are you our customers you're our family and, and we love it when you come down here so uh we really do appreciate that support but uh, the governor just got off uh, his announcement and uh he, he said a few things and rick if you want to let him know what he said um he we're in full phase one which i know a lot of people have been following starting monday starting full monday phase one. Um, which of course that still means vacation rentals are banned, but we got really good news. He's going to leave it up to the counties to submit a plan and if he likes their plan, we're going to be able to open up. Our people and our county commissioner, our mayor has already submitted letters. They're already, I'm sure, have a plan in place. Going to probably submit it this afternoon or Monday and he should approve it pretty fast, I would think. They're on top of it. Everybody here wants the business, everybody here needs the business, and we are ready to go. So chances are very good that things are gonna move a little quicker now that we're in this situation. So uh, our suggestion to you guys is to, let's just keep what we have. If you have a current reservation with us, let's keep it in play. And uh, if, if you don't have a reservation with us, book it now because we're gonna, uh, I guess we'll open up our online booking engine again. So give us a couple hours. Give us a couple that. hours and let us get that rolling and you guys can, can start booking and um, and we'll just uh, let you know as soon as we know more. And, and that might be Monday or Tuesday. It might be the middle of next week. We might be up to the last minute. Who knows? But I would say let's just keep what you got. Don't change it. And uh, just wait for us to give you some further uh, updates about what's going on. More good news. He did mention the Panhandle has low cases. So we're not in the same boat as South Florida or some other places in Florida. So that was encouraging as well. Yeah. So. We were feeling a little defeated early in the in the press conference, but by the end, we now have some really good... Well, we at least have a smile on our face, Yay! so things are moving <laughs> forward. Um, so we don't know how long this process is going to take, hopefully not long at all. And uh, just uh, everybody just hang in there, and we'll get you down here, and we're just going to have some fun on the beach, and, and we really appreciate it. We really do. So we'll keep you informed. and. Uh, if you've left messages, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. The phones have been crazy today, uh, um, but we're going to work on this um, emails and getting the online booking turned back on first before we start returning phone calls. It's so crazy that the eyes are already crossed. So <laughs> anyway, uh, we're, we're going to have some fun and thank you so much and uh, we'll be in touch very soon. Okay. Thanks guys. Right. Can't wait to see you. Bye-bye.